Jurassic Park, The Lost World, for the Sega Game Gear. No death run. System security. System read. Gate zero, open. Gate number one, gate number two, gate number three, four, five. They're all open. They're all open. Okay, we get it. They're all open. I bet Dennis Nedry's going to pop out. I, I know it. It's Dennis Nedry. Oh, okay. It's, it's a T-Rex. And it looks really good, too. Okay, so Jurassic Park for the Sega Game Gear is a game I recently stumbled upon. I was curious to see if anyone speed ran The Lost World for the Genesis. It's a pretty long game. Only two people have done it, and they've done it in an hour and a half, and well, I don't know how, because that game took me, like, I swear, nine hours. I really liked it, even though it was kind of slow and different. Well, looking that up, I saw this. I quickly looked at it and thought, hey, that actually looks really good. I want to try that. So I shoot at that weird green box because that was never there in any of my other playthroughs. So I was like, is there a secret there? Is that just a glitch? I'm sure it was just a pixel glitch. Pretty big pixel. Anyways, as I hop my way over these bad guys, um, this game looks fantastic, does it not, for a Game Gear game? It is a late release in 1997, so it uh, makes sense why it looks so good. But yeah, quick as we started that level, we are done it. But now we have a Pachycephalosaurus. That's right. The ones with the big fucking dome on their head that ram you. Giant skull bone. This thing messed me up quite a bit my first time playing the game, and well, even my second and third time. After a few resets and a few deaths, I figured out the pattern and the timing and which branch to particularly stand on to be able to get to the ground to land the shots. That's actually easier uh, than it looks. And I would say the hardest boss in the whole game. This game's really fun. I clearly meant it is harder than it looks, so though it is still quite easy. Got a sleeping stegosaurus, I suppose. I don't know where the rest of his body is, but I assume his head and tail are buried in the tall grass having a nap. We shoot a bird or some kind of dinosaur pterodactyl. We got some big dinosaurs sticking its head out of the bushes there. Getting hit by some other dinosaur. I don't know who we're playing as. I don't think it's relevant or really matters. But a lot of body armor in this game. It definitely allows you to take more hits. Uh, without body armor, I believe you take about three hits and you die. Uh, the real kickers for death in this game are insta-kills. Like those uh, rocks below. One touch of those. Doesn't matter what armor you have. It's an insta-death. So that dinosaur there that pops up, that's why I'm hanging high on the rope. So he'll knock you off and instantly kill you. And yes, that dinosaur just threw an egg at me. That's awesome. <laughs> really, it's just ridiculous. So we're going to hop across here and get some more body armor as we make our way through this relatively small stage. But nice looking stage. This game's graphics for a Game Gear game are obviously, I would say, a 5 out of 5. Um... Play the game for yourself and you'll see that they look even crisper, even nicer, and even more detailed than I'm able to display here. As we walk past one more sleeping Stegosaurus, to make our way to a Brachiosaurus boss. That's right, we're going to shoot him in the face. Watch out for his stomping feet. <laughs> it's stupid, but it's great. Um, much easier than the first boss. This was very simple to learn my first time, unlike the Pachycephalosaurus. The Brachiosaurus seems to be much easier. I don't also know why his legs are a different color than his head and neck. I, I have no idea. But anyways, he's dead. We're moving on to level three. Like the little overhead map as well. Uh, nice touch. So now we're in the Brachiosaurus area where we're looking at some in the background there. They're all, they're all looking pretty cool. All looking pretty nice. Uh, this level, uh, it, it's fun. They're, they're all pretty straightforward linear levels i'm gonna go off the beaten path here just to get some armor i'm not speed running it so you know i thought hey let's get some extra hits um now generally speaking this game is incredibly easy um i did die quite a bit my first playthrough though i have to admit that um you know i fell victim to beginner's traps um you know pitfalls uh, also, there's a level where you play as a little dinosaur. One hit and he's toast, so that, that took me a little bit to figure out. Um, the final level is a chase with a T-Rex. Pretty cool, with two hits and you're done. So it's not like the game gave me a hard time my first time playing it, but I definitely died more than a handful of times. I would say well over a dozen. 
But uh, once you quickly figure out how to do everything in this game, I was like, all right, I want to NDR this game. This is fun. This is enjoyable. It's short, it's sweet, and it's engaging. Cool boss right here. Nice looking level two in the dark. You got to flip this switch. And then you got to go over, turn the lights on, and shoot the dinosaur. Now, if you do it slowly, you got to go to the other side and hit a switch. But I quickly learned that rapid fire this motherfucker all the hell. So now after that fight, we have Caution, the hugest Triceratops you've ever seen. Now, I don't know if that's the scale. I believe uh, Triceratops would be probably not quite as large as that. But how do I know? That, that could be relatively to scale. But I would say that's a little too big. I know they were roughly around 30 to 35 feet long. And I believe they stood somewhere around 12 to 15 feet high. Max. Um, so I don't know, maybe that's the scale, but I would say that's a slightly large Triceratops. As we slide under a Stegosaurus, uh, pretty, pretty cool little level here, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it, it's obviously kind of silly looking, but uh, the whole game's kind of silly. But uh, it, it, it's incredibly charming as well. Like This game is just a hidden gem to say the least. Uh, a lot of fun stuff going on here. Okay, so another level completed, and now the only level where you play as this tiny little dinosaur. I uh, gotta watch out for, uh, that, uh, must hit that thing correctly or it's insta-kill. Everything that touches you is an insta-kill. Don't let that guy get you. He got me many times my first try where I was learning the climbing mechanics with this little dinosaur. Short, super easy level, but on my first playthrough, I probably died here more than any other spot in the entire game minus the last chase scene. Um... Definitely a good 10 times while I was figuring out the climbing technique. But uh, yeah, once again, when you know what to do, um, very, very, very simple, straightforward, easy stuff. Very linear level, and that's it. It's done. So I actually really like this boss fight. Um, again, walking into this blind, uh, when he goes up top like that and spits at you, uh, he definitely took a chunk out of the crime and killed me a handful of times. But uh once I discovered this nice little running back and forth pattern, uh, you know, you simply confuse his shooting pattern and you, you stay uh, safe. But uh, this game, again, graphics, I'm going to say a 5 for a Game Gear game, for sure, 5 out of 5. The sound also sounds quite nice. Like, we're talking about a Game Gear game here. You're not going to be looking for the best audio. Now, I have heard some... In pretty incredible audio with games from like celeste and streets of rage so it's not a five out of five but i'd give the sound a four out of five its controls are nice they're very smooth very responsive i don't feel any delay there's no slowdown in this game and i think slowdown adds to controls because if the game is slowing down that's impairing your controls this game has none it plays very nicely looks very nice controls five out of five it's fun factor for me, man. It may be short, it may be easy, but that doesn't change the fact that it's fun. I'm giving it a five. Now, this is the kind of game, you know, you beat it once or twice, you pretty much move on. But it's like, you can revisit it at any time because it's so short, so sweet, and so fun. That in like a year's time, I see no reason not to just pick this game up and play it. Now, also for a speed run, is another reason for me to uh, make an excuse to replay it. But again, after you beat it once, twice, maybe three times, you'll be pretty much done with it. You know, you'll probably want to NDR it because it is relatively easy, unless you're not into NDRs because it could be kind of challenging. It could actually be kind of challenging, I'm not going to lie. Like, there's certain spots where it's like, if you don't have the patience to do such things, it's probably going to irritate you. You'll be more than satisfied with just a simple playthrough. But like, yeah, in two years' time, I can totally see myself just playing this game for fun because if I have 15 minutes or less I'm going to enjoy the playthrough but outside of that the game does lack substance because it is a little too short for my taste but again we're talking about a Game Gear game and what I would consider probably a lazy late release game where you know they didn't care about you know the quality per se they're like hey the game how long is it Ah, if you do it clean, you're going to do it in 12 to like 15 minutes easy. Ah, that's not very good, but everything else has been done well. 
So as lazy as that is to have such a short game, at least the game itself is quite quality. So this level here is obviously kick-ass. Like this entire level, it just looks great. Um, I love ah, the theme so of this annoying. level. I love the T-Rex darting his head in and taking big shots and not killing me because I grab that armor. I like the flipping the switches here to go through the rooms and stuff. It's just, it, the game's pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. Caution, T-Rex fight, and how great does that look? That looks fantastic. It really does. This is a great little boss level. Um, in all honesty, I do not think you need to shoot him. I could be wrong. Maybe the more shots I put into him, the quicker he dies when you get to the end of the sequence. Or, you don't have to shoot him at all, and you just have to avoid him and survive, get past the barrels, and don't let him hit you that many times. I think about three, maybe four, he'll take you out. I think it's three hits and you're gone even with armor but the idea i think really is to get to the end of the level and kill these little i suppose baby t-rexes that come out there's a good six or seven of them i could even probably stop and count now but yeah pretty cool level Okay, so it would seem there were five young T-Rexes to kill. And that level is complete. We're moving on to the final scene, the final act, the final level, the final boss. A pretty cool chase scene from a T-Rex. Where his face, even though it looks great, also looks kind of strange. Now, two hits and you're done here. This is definitely the hardest spot in the game for sure. So at least they made the last part relatively challenging. There are spots in this game that can easily, easily, easily kill you. But again, once you've figured them out, it's all pretty simple. Now this part, I think, is going to still hold a bit Bullshit. of difficulty. What I discovered is, is I don't really pay attention so much to my driving or the objects that hit me, but the T-Rex itself. As I move, say, left, he doesn't attack. So I can like, now he won't attack. Now he's going to attack. So as you move, he'll like do like kind of like a feint. And then you move again, that's when he's going to strike. So I basically just look at his dome, watch what he's doing. When I see him faint, I know his next turn, he's going to attack. So in that case, I'm just going to be moving to make sure I don't take the hit. I took one. Luckily, I didn't take two. And I was able to get the job done. But with that being said, thanks for watching this cool little playthrough of a cool little game. And what do we call it? Gameplay Steve will have his... Uh, share to say very soon. Thanks for watching. Yes. Okay, cool. I didn't have to waste too much time on that MDR at all. So I was a little nervous there. I took a hit. Two hits and you're done. So that's cool. This is a very, very fun, charming little game. You know, honestly, as a late release for the Game Gear in 97, I don't know how much it would have retailed for new, but I obviously was over playing Game Gear in 97, you know, but hey, if I would have had this in 97 on the Game Gear, I would have absolutely loved it. This is a very, very fun little Jurassic Park game. And though it is extremely short, um, you'll die a bunch of times in your first and second playthrough for sure. Um, you know, I, I did about three playthroughs, and this is my fourth. 
and got it on my fourth. I wasn't sure how many it was going to take. Um, I had a few resets. I don't really count the resets on the first level because there's a couple pitfalls I took and whatnot. But fun, fun little game, man. Like, yeah, very easy NDR. Very, very easy NDR. But a very fun one as well. And now I'm going to test the waters with speedrunning it and see if I can at least beat a couple people on the current leaderboard for this game. Um, man, this is a fun, fun little game. Honest to God. Great graphics, great controls, decent sound for a Game Gear, the sound, everything. It checks off all the boxes. This game's wicked. This game's wicked. Too easy, but there's a lot of fun to be had with this game. This is, this, this was like, a, this is a little hidden gem. This is a hidden gem for sure. With that being said, thanks for watching my new death run of Jurassic Park The Lost World for the Sega Game Gear. As our character there looks over, I guess, East Lasorna with his little... That's not even a raptor, man. That's like a... Uh, what do they call them? Like, I don't, I don't even know what they call those little ones. Kick-ass game. Thank you for watching. Very cool.